guys, John again here with another Eklund Motorsports uh, video. Today's focus is more or less an unboxing of the 2021 North American version of the Yamaha Tenere 700, which of course we've been waiting a long time for. So the one thing I want to get out in front of first is you've seen British people already review this thing probably about a year ago, and today's focus is just getting up close to the features and this and that of the North American you know, ones that ship. So we'll kind of start with just the, the stunning uh, fit and finish of this thing. If you kind of come in and see, we've got Bremble now as a brake supplier. And as you can see with the wave rotors and the fit and finish and everything like that, it's really nice. So Brembo, uh, front to back, you can see all the beautiful, you know, engine case covers that they do and everything like that all the way into looks like the tire supplier which you can kind of get up close to this thing on the on the yamaha website too in a 3d model but this one here it looks like uh shipped with pirelli scorpion str or excuse me uh yeah scorpion rally xtr uh which is a really nice they're going for you know probably like a tkc 80 like an 80 20 tire so mostly road but good off-road because they're trying to again they're trying to get this to be right in the middle and another thing worth noting too, so yeah, they're they're very realistic with their weight advertisements, un, unlike their competitors. So it's it's 452 is the actual wet weight, 452 pounds. So you know by the time you remove the battery, the gas, the oil, and the forks, all this other stuff, probably discover it's around a 400 pound bike. Which for something street legal in a 700 liquid cooled parallel twin, that is pretty amazing. Um, it's a sign that we're definitely in the fourth industrial revolution. There's millions of dollars of R&D into this thing. And there's some cool little tricks, uh, and we can kind of come around to the side here. You can see the seat fit and finish. Um, at Eklund, we just wire the batteries under here. This is mechanically fixed, but you can take the seat off with a key, and you'll find at our store, we'll have a, an SA connector for a battery charger in there. And another cool thing, I'm going to have to light up my cell phone on this one. By the rear shock adjustment, they actually have, you'd almost never see it, they have an air box um, check valve uh, in case there's any moisture or anything like that in there. That's a pretty neat touch. Um, amongst a couple other things, so hopefully I got in there and you can see it. But uh, so again, going after road and off-road, uh, you know, getting getting ready for the future here because adventure touring is is definitely a big thing. And I'll pop on the key here. And you have some core, you know, Yamaha technologies. They have the the little select button, which goes through, you know, things like ambient temp now, coolant, which of course is low right now. It doesn't uh, doesn't show you any of that stuff. Fuel cell. It's a 4.2 gallon fuel cell. They estimate the range at 215 miles. Now that is a metric manufacturer saying that. That means at 215 miles in ideal circumstances, the fuel cell is absolutely dry. So obviously we know the fuel reserve light comes on with the better part of a gallon left over. So expect more comfortably fill ups probably around 160, 170 if you're just kind of tuning along. Um, another cool thing, you can fully disengage the ABS, which is really cool. That's what every off-road rider really wants. It <laughs> says, says right up on the dash there, so that is sweet. And then I like the way these guys run. It's, it's two buttons, but what it actually does is the same thing, but it lets you page back and forth through your um, trip info, which is really nice. Um, so instead of a set, reset, and a third button, there's just two buttons, and you can kind of cruise through all your settings, which is really cool. And then you have a 12 volt over here, a couple of headlight adjusters on either side of the, uh, the fixture in the front. This is really cool. I missed this. I didn't see this in any of the literature. So you can see you have adjustable forks and the shock too. You have rebound, preload, and compression happening. Up here, in case the forks get really, really hot in you know some all-terrain riding, you have fork bleeder screws uh, standard right on the front fork. So that was a little surprise that um, I didn't quite catch in any of the press material or anything like that. So. Other than that, yeah, you have a gear position indicator, um, speed and all that fun stuff. You can see all that there. But, uh, and I'll pop apart the seat too so we can just kind of see what I was talking about before. The seat release is very simple. It's in the middle of the bike on the opposing side. It's not deeply hidden or anything like that. And you just peel back this beautiful, beautifully stitched piece here. And uh, you can see it's, there's really nothing going on. It's just a little bit of info. And again, we have our battery tender on there. And you can certainly mechanically remove the seat and get to the battery there. But in a nutshell, that is, that's a North American 2021 Yamaha, I'm just going to call it the T7. Beautiful fit and finish. We've been waiting a long time to see something like this. Uh, we expect to do very well with it, especially this year, retail $99.99 on this thing. I mean, this is, a, this is a lot of bike, a lot of technology for the money. Smash the like button below if you like this video and want to see more unbox videos, get up close to new stuff that's relevant to the North American market. Let us know and we'd be happy to make a video for you. Again, John Matz, Guy Eklund. Take it easy.